everybody it's Cynthia Maynard I hope you're doing well today thanks for stopping by my channel um, today I am doing a highlight on Sizzix in my Sizzix series there's also going to be a Spellbinders one as well um, this dye is a thinlets set by Lindsay Serrata and it looks simple here are the pieces you get this scored um, piece that makes like the gusset uh, and then you get two squares and two circles and it makes quick work of making a shaker card and here's the example they have um, of it and they've got tissue stuffed in there and whatnot you don't have to use it for a shaker card you could use it for I mean they're certainly usable pieces and you can use them for card fronts and whatever else <laughs> but but the idea if you want to do a shaker card it's a very quick and easy way if you're a clod like me <laughs> who <laughs> makes a mess of things it keeps it pretty straightforward so it basically has two sizes of squares and two sizes of circles so I'm going to show you a couple that I've made already and then we're going to make one today this was uh, the first one I made and um, I made it the back pieces out of pattern paper you can see that um, it's all bent but um, so basically I stuck two and I did the gusset incorrectly because it was the first time I'd made it, but I made a little tag, and you can still stick the tag in there, and it's still got plenty of room to stuff whatever in there, but you can put gift cards in here, and tags, and treats, and what have you. Um, and then I've got my little shaker bits here, okay, I've got sequins, I've got some little tiny seed beads that you'd use like in mixed media, and then some ribbon, and I made a little bow to go with my bow paper. And then the second one I made is this one. Okay, this has some different um, sequins in there, like those flat little confetti bits, I guess is more what that has, and some um, glitter. And then this is, I made this in the winter time. <laughs> um, I put a little, uh, you could easily fit a gift card on here, a tea bag, uh, what have you, but this is my little handle to go out, and the gussets here are done more correctly. Um, all right, and so I have the piece and then some acetate and some bow and a little decoration there. So they're super fun. They're fun to get. You could pop that into a card envelope and and uh, what have you. Or like I said, you could use the elements. So these are the ones. I've already pre-cut some. I'm using a paper pad from Prima. It's rose quartz and it's a beautiful paper pad. It's double-sided. And I'm also using... Um, I'm get, this is going to have a tea bag that's going to go in it. So I'm using a Prima pot. Oh my goodness, uh, teapot, and I used one of the cutter parts. I inked around. It says uh, choose kindness, and uh, just showing kindness to people. I made my inner insert there, and I'll show you that. So, uh, basically, what you need to cut out is you need to take the larger square, and you need to cut out two of the main pieces. So I'm choosing the uh, dark gray for the Stampin' Up because I liked how it went with these beautiful florals. And then I chose the inner smaller square and the smaller circle and you run it through like that to get that piece and then to get the acetate piece you take the bigger circle and do that that way you're able to glue it on to the back and then it's just a matter of filling and assembling and so forth oh and the two gusseted pieces so you have to run it through a couple times obviously they only give you one gusset piece so you have to run it through a couple times and depending on what you're doing uh, whatever but it's easy and it's fun so uh, that's not a problem all right so let's get going I'm gonna go ahead so this has time to dry and we're just gonna put a ring of wet glue right around my um, little circle here I'm having a hard time seeing I need to go to the eye doctor and I'm just going to just do a tiny bit so that acetate can have something to cling to there okay so that's going to be wider than the opening because we cut it out with the wider bit there. Two gusseted pieces, and it has a little, I don't know if that's picking up, but it has a little score mark in there. So we're going to go ahead, basically you're just folding it in half if you <laughs> for some odd reason can't find your score mark, but um, just go ahead and do that. And then we're going to take our two pieces that we have here and the front one I'm going to do a little stamping on first so in the area that you can see through the back you don't have to do this you could use pattern paper back there you could cut another circle out of that and have a different pattern contrasting uh, but I like the idea of using some white ink with this teapot back here so I'm just going to kind of leave a border 
and I'm just going to have some random teapots to go with our tea theme here. The sequins in here, so I think that'll be fine. Um, sequins will be bouncing around, so put some foam tape around the edge here. You can use whatever works for you. I'm going to use the Stampin' Up um, strips work really nice and you can just kind of go right around this edge and so it's nice about these and you can just kind of manipulate it to fit around that circle you don't want to leave any gaps of course because then our sequins will <laughs> make their way out okay and then when you get to that spot there, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that right back on there and use that for a different project. So we're just going to kind of go like that. That way we have that all set. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and put our sequins kind of in the center here in a clump and then when they spread out because I don't want them to go past so I'm gonna put a little bit of this this is just from Walmart I think some iridescent glitter um, I like to have the different textures in there because I think that's fun and um, get some of that around there um, for sequins I've got this retired pink trim so I'm just going to kind of pull, pull them off of their string there. Okay, and then my final component is I have some little tiny beads. And I like the way these sound when they bounce around in there. These are kind of a creamy grayish. Now these will roll on you, so you got to kind of really be careful with these. You really want to contain them. Okay, that makes it fun, right? All right, so scoot everything towards the middle, and then get any runaways, and then go ahead and take the backing off of your paper, and then pick where you want that. Um, I'm gonna go like this, so I'm kind of centering it right there. Okay. And then we are going to take um, some ribbon at the end, we'll do the ribbon, and uh, we're going to put her here, I'm trying to think if I grabbed any other embellishments. Um, I don't think I did, so I'm going to stick some foam on the square. Sometimes we get these dies, we see somebody do something with them and they look really fun. And they are. They're fun. But uh, sometimes we put them in our stash and forget about them. So I just kind of want to um, remind you if you have it or if you're interested in looking for a quick way to do a shaker card. All right. So let's get back to putting our whole piece together. So we're going to kind of um, put these on in a way that is going to allow us to give some, um, you know, opening to our... Um, Thing there, so I'm going to put it on two sides here and get my glue to go. Get a little messy because it's tiny there, like that. And then directly across the way that helps you to whichever end to look at it like that and then we're going to put our bigger piece right on top lining up carefully our spot there obviously we've got to give that a second to to dry and there's any number of ways you can decorate this. You can put little flowers around here, which I might do later because it's a little bit rectangle-y. <laughs> so I'll soften up these corners with some flowers. That would be really pretty. Okay. 
And then our piece, our um, little gift card piece, or you could put you could put some a glue dot on the back of a tea bag and put that in there. And then just go ahead and slip that in. Make sure that's dry. Just like that. And then we'll have our little heart sticking up on top. This is a little stitched heart die that I just had in my stash. And I just took to make this panel, I took the smaller square and I just cut it down and rounded the corners to make the little insert there like that. And then we just need to finish it off with some ribbon. Beautiful shimmer pink. This is a Stampin' Up ribbon. Okay, like that, and there you have it. Fun little shaker pocket. And these are great. Of course, you could decorate it on the back, but um, any a number of themes, Christmas time, uh, any any of that, you can just really go to town. Um, with the tags, with stuffing them with the paper like they have on the front of theirs, and or using these for card front panels. Whatever works for you. Lots of fun, guys. And a great way to give a little surprise gift or card for someone for a holiday or birthday. Hopefully you like this video and go ahead, if this is helpful to you, give a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Check out my playlist under the Sizzix series for other Sizzix dies that I am featuring. And get on that list of be, be a subscriber so you can always get notifications of new videos. Thank you guys so much and have a great day.